Okay. Uh, well, uh, you know, just got done with the team down there, and and uh, you know, we we we've talked all week about you know our motivation for this game, which uh, you know we obviously put a lot of it on the 21 seniors that were out there and uh, wanted wanted to finish strong, and I uh, thought we had a chance to play our best ball game 12 and all three sides of the ball. I think we did that. So, you know, excited about the way we finished. And uh, excited that a lot of the they, they had a, they had a tremendous amount of fun out there, uh, you know. So glad that they went out on top, and uh, um, you know, obviously looking forward to the bowl game. The season is not over. Uh, we will switch gears at this point. Got seven coaches going out recruiting tomorrow. Uh, we'll be gone uh, for you know in a, uh, uh, five or six days recruiting. Uh, guys need to. You know, finish uh, school. Uh, they got one week of school left, and then finals after that. So, a couple weeks of recruiting, and then we will uh, kind of start preparing for whoever the bowl uh, opponent's going to be. So, with that, I take some questions. Coach, uh, what, uh, uh, what uh, were your impressions uh, of what obviously was uh, a very important victory, assuring? Uh, West Virginia of a winning season. Well, you know, we we've uh, we've been, in my opinion, I know your opinion probably differs, uh, but in my opinion, we've been playing pretty good football for the last uh, four or five weeks. Uh, you know, the after after the bye week, uh, when we you know we we didn't play good at Texas Tech, we didn't play good Kansas State, we had an off week. Since then, I felt like we've been playing good football, and um, you know, a couple of tough losses. Uh, but then these guys didn't quit, you know, and they wanted to uh, finish the year strong. We a very tough victory last week at Iowa, and Iowa State, and then coming here and finishing a game, you know, uh, played played really well. I felt like on all three sides of the ball, so we did want to finish strong. And <clears throat> you know, the only way these seniors are going to be um, go out on top and have good good memories is, is if they win the last game. So. And I'll use that again in the bowl game. You know, really, this isn't really the true senior day. Next, ne uh, the next game is really the true senior day. So, felt like we will continue to get better as a team. Talk about Gino a little bit. What he was doing, <clears throat> obviously the consecutive completions and, and the way he finished out that game. Yeah, I mean, didn't throw an incompletion today. It's pretty good. Anytime you can throw for over 400 yards and and not throw an incompletion, that's pretty good. I know the one. Technically, the one in completion was an interception. So, but he didn't have a ball hit the ground all day, which is pretty impressive. He he played well, and he's had you know you know he he had he took a, a lot of the you know fault in in his eyes and and across the country and media and all the rest of it. You know he was the the finger got pointed at him a lot when we weren't uh, doing specific things well. Uh, you know, but he he's been playing well, and you know, and he's played well all year. He's a great quarterback, and and proud of uh, his accomplishments, and proud of what he's been able to do. He's a great kid, and and uh, will be remembered around here for that for a long, long time. So, um, you know, when we get the running game going, it it alleviates a lot of pressure from him, uh, as as it does in in each and every game. So, you know, us being able to run the ball, uh, you know, makes his stats look a whole lot better. <clears throat> you mentioned the kind of the resurgence of this team after the bye week. That's kind of coincided with Bowie picking his game back up again. What has he been able to do to kind of get back up to level he was at against Texas? Well, he's not an every down back. Uh, you know, which we had to play him as an every down back. And, and you know, against Texas, he looked good, but it caught up to him. The more we had to do that with him, the more it caught up to him. He can't handle 25 carries a game and, and 80 snaps. I mean, he, his, his body type's not like that because of the way he plays. He plays so hard and plays physical and, 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 and all that. So, you know, he played well today. I mean, you look at his stats, he had 160 yards of total offense, but you know, he probably only played about 25 snaps, you know. So when he's able to be fresh in there, his production is, is, is a lot better. And he did get wore out. And then Sean came back and we utilized Tavon a lot back there. And, and Dustin's given us everything that he can. He's just not 100% healthy yet. So uh, when we have all the pieces of the puzzle, I think we're a pretty good offense. And I think we're a pretty good rushing offense. Uh, if he's the only one that we're counting on, it, 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 it's not going to look good. Coach, do you think that um, Gino and Tavon will factor into the Heisman race? And would you be disappointed if they're not either for your, the program or for them? 
Well, yeah, it, you know, I mean, I don't. It, the, the Heisman's a whole other animal. I mean, that, that, are they capable of it? Yes. I mean, is Geno as good of a quarterback as there is out there? Absolutely. Uh, is, Ta Ta is Tavon as, as dynamic of a player as there is in college football? Yes, he is. Is, is Stedman uh, as dynamic at the receiver spot as anybody out there? Absolutely. Uh, when, when you're seven and five, you're not going to get the. You're not going to get that. You know what, what Tavon did against Oklahoma. I've been very vocal with this. What he did against Oklahoma is the single greatest performance I've ever seen, ever. But we lost, so he doesn't get the notoriety that he deserves. Uh, you know, it's a team game. So, <clears throat> you know, th those guys are, are tremendous football players and had tremendous careers here. And and and. You know, can't wait to coach him again next weekend. But um, you know, as far as the Heisman thing goes, it's uh, you gotta you gotta be on a national stage and win in order to get your name out there. Timing is about everything. Having said that, that is true. But in your eyes, do you think it should be that way, or should it just be the best player in the country? Well, it's yeah. I mean, I don't know how you gauge that. I mean, the only way you can gauge that is is by wins. You know, I mean, that if you know, it's specific specific. Uh, uh, venues with wins, with the amount of eyes that are on that, it's, it's all about the timing and, and all that. So I, I don't worry about that. It's, I worry about our team, you know, and I'm excited about coaching those three guys, but I worry a little bit more about our team than I do uh, the accolades that those three guys will get individually. And after all the ups and downs, the scene after the game, the celebration of fans state, what did that, how did that impress you? Get? Well, it, yeah, it, it was. I was. I was just happy that the 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 21 guys were able to experience that. I mean, and I say this about our seniors. I mean, I, th these guys mean a lot to me, but they lean, they mean a lot to the you know West Virginia family, the the state of West Virginia, the, the university. All, all these guys have been through coaching changes. They've been through conference changes, and they've never once uh, you know said this is too hard or this isn't fair or. Uh, that this isn't why I came here or any of that. I mean, this, they're here because they love it here. And, and, you know, they're a very tight group. You know, we're such a young team, but then you have 21 seniors. You know, and those guys are obviously the glue that kind of kept everything together uh, when, when we were challenged, you know. And, and you know, the, more we're, the longer we're in the Big 12, the more everybody's going to understand it. I mean, there's, there's I, think, I think at the end of today, there's five seven and five teams that are all pretty good football teams, you know, so uh, not once did they ever complain and say this isn't why I came here or any of that stuff. They, they stuck together and, and uh, want to finish this year with a victory in the bowl game because that's what they're going to be remembered for. The team that, that, that spearheaded the seniors, the class that spearheaded the transition into the Big 12 and had success. Danny, your thoughts on your defense today? After a lot of negatives, obviously, finish on the conference. Yeah, been improving. You know, been improving, uh, <clears throat> been getting better. You know, I, I get, when I when I say we've been getting better, uh, you know, since that bye week, I, I think we've gotten better. We've played some pretty good offensive football teams that have have put up some points and and, and all that. I understand that, but uh, same thing with those guys. A lot of those guys haven't quit. They they just kept playing. You know, and they ignored what was happening, and they just got went out there and tried to get better each week. Talk about preparing for a lot of different looks from. Kansas and the different scheme, the, the different things they throw out at you. How do you feel like you guys adjusted and didn't make adjustments early on to what they were doing? Well, we jumped out. You know, they, they came out and started Crest and wanted to throw the ball a little bit, and and, and, and we did well. And so then they kind of settled back into what they did, which is put Cummings in the game and run the ball. And, and I thought our run defense was, was pretty good. Um, you know, I think we held them about three yards a rush overall. So. We we know that's kind of what our one of our strength is um, defensively, um, you know, and, and and yes, you know, we got we jumped up on top of them a little bit, so then we just kind of were able to come to the sidelines. Thought our coaches did a good job of identifying a few of the things that they were trying to do different, and we adjusted to it. And and uh, one of the things we talked about all work was being alert to that, be alert to what their different schemes were going to be, and get out there and make some adjustments and play. And you knew last year. Well, yeah, there's not much we can do about it. I mean, I know there's a pecking order, and uh, the, the Bulls can pick who they want to. I, I would think, uh, uh, 
you know, the, when, when the specific Bulls have an opportunity to, to pick, I mean, a lot of the team's records are going to be the same. Now, you know, some, some we won head-to-head matchups, some they won head-to-head matchups. I would think that there would be a whole lot of Bulls out there that would want the Mountaineers to come play at their bowl for a number of reasons. There's, you know, the, we, we have some star power, obviously. Uh, you know, we have a, a, a fan base that, that, that will travel. Uh, so I think we're very, you know, we're very marketable, and I would think that there'd be a whole bunch of bulls that would that would want us in their in their game. So, uh, bull, they're, all the bulls are fun. Each and every one of them is fun. The ones that are in the Big Twelve, I've been to almost every one of them, and they're all fun. They're all good. Their venues are good. The uh, the accommodations are good. So we'll be happy to go about anywhere. You know, when things were going bad, uh, you, you mentioned that Gino was taking way too much on himself. And- you apparently must have sat down and had some chats with him. Uh, what did you tell him, and how did you kind of maybe rescue his season or from going bad? Well, I didn't rescue anything. I mean, he's a, he's a good player, you know, and, and he just needs to understand that he can only control the things that 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 he's responsible for, you know, and. He just kept playing, you know, and, and uh, was proud of how he did that. I mean, he yes, he got discouraged, but he kept working hard. He kept, uh, you know, kept getting better with his technique. He kept getting out there practicing. He did his best to make people around him better. Uh, there were some things that he couldn't control from a, a run game standpoint and, and uh, a defensive standpoint that, that put us behind the, uh, you know, put us uh, in, the, in the loss category a couple of times. But he, he didn't worry about all that. I mean, yes, he did blame himself, but he still came to work and tried his very hardest that he possibly could. And that, that shows what his character and what kind of a kid he is. He's going to play football for a long time. Would a team be, a team be wrong if they picked him with the first pick of the NFL draft? No, uh, Gino's going to play for a long, long time. I mean, he, he's... Uh, He's got everything that you can ask for in a kid. He's got everything that you can ask for in, in, in a, in a skill set. I don't care what offense you're going to run. Um, it, it, he, he will play for somebody for a long, long time.